Hi guys, it's Ray. Today I am going to start on this tumbler. Um, I'm going to start by wrapping it completely in this printed vinyl. So I'm going to trim my vinyl down and I never know my measurements. So So, I'm going to peel up an edge, just like doing any other vinyl wrap. Definitely that way. Get yourself fitted. Okay, so I haven't cleaned the inside of this cup yet, but I do want to mark where my back seam is so I can try and avoid that later. So I'm going to take a Sharpie and I'm just going to draw a line inside the cup. just so I know where that seam is down the road. And um, I'm gonna do this off camera, but I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna take and cut a circle on my Cricut for the middle of this, so if I come over the bottom um, in future steps, I do have some pattern happening down here. Okay, so I'm finally getting back to this cup. I, ooh. I hadn't coated it yet because I didn't want the epoxy to sit forever until I got around to the next step. So I think it's supposed to be nice the next couple days, so I should be able to get it finished. So now is the time. I did add that little circle to the bottom. So if we do our geode over the bottom, it'll have a little bit of something, something down there. So. I'm going to get a coat of epoxy on it, let that dry, and then we will be ready to move on. Okay, so this coat is dry and smooth enough. I looked at all of my paints, um, trying to decide what color top color I wanted and if I wanted one or two layers. 
And at first I thought about like a pale yellow and a lavender, but then I saw the matte boysenberry on my shelf and I think this is going to be a really good match to these and keep it a little bit more vibrant. So I'm going to go with this. I'm going to go quick outside and spray paint over the entire thing and then let that dry and I'll be back. Uh, I'm trying to beat the rain so this is a little rushed. Okay so this is completely covered and dry. I still have my mark where I did the back. Um, I did end up with a little bit of drippage so I'm gonna use those spots as part of my geode look. So this is just acetone. Uh, this is what I prefer. I just pick it up at Walmart. It's what I found works best for me. And just some pieces of cut up t-shirt. And we're just going to start working some of that spray paint back off. I only did a single color of spray paint, so um, you're not going to get that layered geode look that you would get if you did multiple colors. So keep that in mind as we go along. I am going to try to avoid this seam though. Okay, so I think that's good. So at this point, I like to take a little bit of alcohol and just clean up those spots. And I'm gonna let this sit and dry just so any soft spots on the paint harden up again and then I'll be back at the turner okay so my epoxy is mixed I've been back and forth between using touch of rose and touch of violet I think I'm gonna use a little bit of both so about that much of each Oh yeah, I love it already. I want my diamond dust under my decal, not over my decal, so 
That's why I'm putting it on in this layer. Okay, so for the decal for this one, I know we were originally going to use the black and white version of this. I decided I wanted to bring this little bit of vibrancy in. So I'm going to pick a bleach spot, and I'm thinking this one. I'm going to cut it from the page. And this is not a VC decal, which is why I am going over a bleach spot. Um, if you're good with extra layers of epoxy, um, put this on, do a layer, and then do your bleach spot. She's not going to quite cover. Well, actually, if I shift it a little, little bit, I'll cover all the way to the edge. So by layering them perfectly over the bleach spot, I shouldn't see any of the edge of the vinyl under the epoxy, or it should minimize it. Because I covered that entire thing. So it's gonna get cut as one layer. And because this isn't like a scattered spray paint type of bleach spot, I should be able to trim pretty closely around the whole thing. Okay, so this is ready for decal. I'm going to put it on the side where I didn't do any geode stuff where the seam was. So... I think I'm going to put her in here. I'm going to cut a little piece off. And get her lined up. Good. Whoa, almost took my whole thing down. on here really well by hand. So I'm going to get the epoxy mixed up and we'll get a final coat on here. I'm glad I went with the more vibrant one. I feel like that works really well. Okay, so my epoxy is mixed. We're going to get this coat on and we're going to be done with this one finally. It's pretty chilly here so my epoxy is fairly thick. It's going to need a good, um, a good torching, but the thickness should help cover the decal. If I can still really feel the decal after this coat, I will give it one more coat, but 
I'm hoping not to because this is three coats and I like to stick to three coats. Just personal preference. So there we go. I'm going to get this torched. So that is going to be it for this one. There's our beautiful girl. And our bookish vinyl peeking through. I absolutely love how this turned out. I'll show you the bottom. So, the cup is Stainless Depot. Um, the vinyl and the decals and the bleach spot is Butterfly Lane Designs. Diamond Dust is It's Pretty Personal. And epoxy, use what works for you. In this case, I used a combination of CC DIY and hog speed because that is what's currently working for me right now. Uh, next week, that could change. That's why I'm not like pushing any specific epoxies because our weather is constantly changing and what works constantly changes. So that is it, and I will see you in the next one.